seen Supergirl? Yes, with Mommy and Daddy. Yes, it's cold outside. Been outside all day. I don't have anywhere else I can take him. You don't have to live in that awful place. Evidently I do, since you appear to be living in my flat. Can you kiss me goodbye, Christopher? No. Yeah. 
on the police lines were relentless and merciless. What do you expect if you keep taking people's jobs away? It's got nothing to do with it. Everything caught in the middle... What do you mean? Most people don't want jobs. At least not the kind they're qualified to do. So even if we did manage to open all those steel mills and dog biscuit factories, we wouldn't get them to sign on. And who can blame them? You trying to say they don't want to work? Oh, I dare say they wouldn't mind being president of IBM or a TV star. John McEnroe. Obviously, you don't know the first thing about unemployed kids. Who does? I do. I defend them all the time. Oh, you think that's the same as knowing them? Roger does too, don't you? He teaches them. Only little ones. Frightened, bewildered, and angry residents were led to say. What are they like? Well. Uh, very nice. <laughs> we used to call ourselves the kids, remember? What? Back in the days of radical chic. Mm. The vast majority of the night's 230 casualties were policemen caught in the continued tail of missiles from the mob. And for the first time ever in Mayland Town, a shotgun and now a pistol were used in a riot. <laughs> How's Cheryl? Oh, she's fine. <laughs> oh, and your little boy? Oh, sorry, I've forgotten his name. <laughs> <laughs> They're separated. <laughs> I'm terribly sorry. I didn't understand. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Thanks, I'm... My name's Bill Hooper. Roger Miles. If I understood what you were saying, we have a lot in common. Oh. My wife took my boy as well. I see. Bloody awful, isn't it? Yes. It is. Can I give you a lift? acid in the punch. Silly bitch. Sorry. No. It was a bit irresponsible. They put her on probation. So she just walked off with your boy? Well, hours. Didn't she give you any warning? No. Just came in from school one day and they'd gone. You seem very calm. I'd be bloody furious if that had happened to me. I thought it did happen to you. No. No. 
I left Emmy. Oh. Well, we gave each other total freedom and uh, we hated each other for taking advantage of it. Or maybe we just got married too young. And, uh, huh. We used to say we'd you know, met the right person. We'd met them far too soon. So you left her? What? Huh? Yes. And your boy? Well, no, how could I leave my boy? Sorry, I thought you said... No, I wasn't thinking. I didn't realise. I didn't know she'd have some new boyfriend installed before he could say knife. But she's Christopher six days a week, and... Uh, so naturally, Christopher thinks he's his father, and... Uh, his daddy number two. <laughs> he can hardly remember who the fuck I am. <laughs> My God, she's a bloody bitch. Anyway, otherwise I'd, uh, I'd never have... I'm really sorry. You don't even seem to be angry. I can't afford to get angry. If I ever let myself get angry, I could do some real damage. They really piss me off, women. What do you mean? Huh? All this relating, relationships, interrelating. It's what they're good at. Oh, don't get me wrong, I always endorsed all that. I used to argue feminism against women. No, I'm such a good boy, no. I even joined a men's group once. God, it's really depressing. Endless whinging. And it's not like the women's group. They enjoy themselves. They used to meet at our flat. I used to hear them haranguing one another or uh, roaring with laughter while I was making the bloody tea. <laughs> I really envied them. I knew at the time that they were right to be angry. I knew they were absolutely justified. I never disputed that for a moment. All of a sudden, they really piss me off. Son, a good weekend? Go oh, fuck yourself. Not very civil.
No, I wanted to be in editorial. They didn't have any vacancies when I arrived. Then I found out how badly they got treated in editorial. <laughs> you know, miserable pay, first to get fired, etc. So then I decided to stick with marketing. Might I have read anything you've marketed? Yeah. Diana, our princess of hearts. <laughs> no. I missed that one. Do you like teaching? Yeah, I've always enjoyed it. Pay's not very good, though, is it? I get nine and a half thousand. Oh, about you? Twenty-three. Expect your wife costs you quite a lot, doesn't she? No, no. She works at home, earns her own money. I give her about 150 quid a month towards Christopher. That's less than I give Cheryl. Well, you're paying her money. Well, you know, she's on the dole. Well, how much, for God's sake? 250 a month. What? That's all I can manage. I don't believe it. This woman steals your son and you're paying her 250 quid a month. Don't ever say that again, Bill. I don't ever want to hear anything like that again. Stop that! There's no need for that. Sorry. I bought this for all the girls. I thought we were going to go off with them. <laughs> you might as well have it. Richard here, I've got a dance class in half an hour. My friends had to go to a meeting. So if Roger could take him for the night. I'm that... sure he can. You must be Bill. Yes, I am. I'm Cheryl. Yes. You're married to that little Emmy Hooper. Oh, I didn't think she was that little. Oh, you know what I mean. No. She's living with someone else, is that right? Who is Roger? I worry about him. He's all right. You're not very forthcoming, are you? No. Good looking, isn't she, Cheryl? Yeah. I don't know what you ever saw in me. <laughs> Forward by Cheryl Langford. <laughs> it was my favourite bit. <laughs> no longer the cowering female victim in the alleyway, but the female sniper on the rooftop. That will be the characteristic image of the new age that is dawning. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> Recent genetic research has proved the inherent weakness of the male producing Y chromosomes. So from his very inception...
So from his very inception, we can see that the male of the species is fundamentally inferior and biologically aberrant to the female. Therefore, bloody rubbish. It's only a joke. A joke? Yes. It doesn't take it too seriously. What do you mean, what she's saying is that, technically speaking, men don't count as human beings? Balls. She wants us dead, don't you understand? It's the quarterly bulletin of the Crouch End Women's Collective. It's a period piece. She wants us dead. for example. Carte Blanche! All this time, Clayton, and you still don't bloody know me, do you? Come on, there must be some compensation. Now they're on! You haven't found a new bloke yet? No! She's not like that! Yeah, they all say that. No, really? She already lives with someone. A woman. What? Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Bloody hell! <laughs> when you say lives with. Yeah. That's right. How'd you know? I've always known. This isn't going on all night. He's very tired. He needs some sleep. He'll be fine. Why don't you come in for a drink? Yeah. Not bloody likely. Well, then just wait here a minute. I'll go and get your presents. I don't want your presents. Give them to your fancy man. Stop it! And a Merry Christmas to you. And yeah, to you, too. Rich. And a Happy New Year to you all.
taking Richard away. What are you talking about? How can she? She just is. Where? Australia. What? That's where Jeannie comes from. Perth or somewhere. When? As soon as she can get a visa. Bloody bitch. No, she's really quite upset. She said perhaps I could visit in the Easter holidays. Take him away? Yes. But she's his mother. And you're his father. Why should you cave in? Let her walk all over you. Come on, fight back. What do you mean? Kidnap him? <laughs> no. No. No, you do it legally. How can I? We're not even divorced. But that doesn't matter. You get custody of him. I don't think I could take Gerald to court. You don't have to. All you need is a solicitor's letter. A friend of mine's wife did just that. Hard-nosed formal letter. Gave him the fright of his life. People do that now. I haven't got any grounds. You need grounds. We'll think of some. Huh. I couldn't. Look, all you have to do is jerk her lead a bit. That's all, just jerk her lead. <laughs> no. There it is. I'm not sure about this. Australia. Right. So, yes, yeah, she left seven months ago, but now she says that... She... Don't say another word. I'm sorry, I never act for a man in a custody case. Well, not under any circumstances. Matter of principle. Oh. Let me arrange for you to speak to one of my colleagues. He'll help you. David, you got a few minutes to see a client? Thanks. You stay here, Bill. Good luck. This old man, he played three. He played knick-knack on my knee with a knick-knack. Paddywhack, give a dog a bone. This old man came rolling home. This old man, he played four. He played knick-knack on my door with a knick-knack. Paddywhack, give I'm just bone. reading your tits. This old man came rolling home. Yes. This old man. <laughs> that what you really think? Yes. Otherwise, I wouldn't wear it. Out. Get out. Can't have you riding with a rapist, can we? For Christ's sake, Bill! You out too. Don't be absurd. Shut up and get out. Have it enough. I just don't believe this. I do. You can take this. Will you pass Christopher out to me then? Certainly not. He's a man, isn't he? do you think you're playing at? I told you we'd help him out. What's the matter with you? Why have you become so serious? Serious? Yes, it's so bloody serious. It used to be a lot of fun. You think Roger's wife is entitled to the kid because she's a woman, don't you? Yes, I do. Yeah. We've known each other a long time. You could have made an exception. Do you know what, Bill? I think you've always taken things far too personally. Cheryl was gay. He said in that case the judge would probably decide I'd condoned it and have Richard taken into care. Christ. Well, fuck that! Couldn't he 
you come up with some sort of compromise? Compromise? She's taking him to Australia. What sort of compromise do you suggest? Singapore? I'll find another bloody lawyer. Yeah, once he finds out that you knew about Cheryl. I won't tell him. That's dishonest. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. <laughs> you were right, Bill. Bloody women. They do want us dead. He's my son! So you had absolutely no idea your wife was subject to these tendencies? None whatsoever. Good. And how did you find out? My son told me. Oh, excellent. What did he say? She shares a bed with this woman. Who is a known lesbian? Yes. She got married once. Excuse me? To another woman. Got a cutting about it somewhere. From gay news. Don't know if she's had a divorce. This is most promising. And where has your wife taken the boy? Um, Brixton. Oh, wonderful. Now, then. Under the Guardianship of Minors Act, the court's first consideration must always be that of the welfare of the child. And normally a judge would feel, looking at it from the child's point of view, that the enforced removal of that child from the care of one parent could only ever be justified in the most extreme circumstances. Of course, of course. However, fortunately, these are extreme circumstances. Are they? Oh, yes. Lesbianism has never been illegal in this country, but I think it is true to say it's something most judges take a fairly dim view of. Right. Mm. So perhaps at this point we should avail ourselves of some expert opinion. I thought that's what we were doing. No. No, Mr. Miles, you'll uh, need a barrister. Ah, I see. So perhaps at this point it might be appropriate to raise the matter of costs. Mm-hmm. In law, as in most things, we get what we pay for. And I would like you to have the benefit of the very best. Unfortunately, it does tend to come rather expensive. I see. How much? Well, if we're lucky, we might get away with 400 pounds. Well, that's all right, <laughs> I suppose. Fair deal. Ah. <laughs> uh, how many um, days? Difficult to say. Three as a general rule, possibly four. And, of course, there would be my own fees. Uh, the trouble is... I'm a bit strapped at the moment. We upped the mortgage last year, and that put a bit of pressure on me. Quite, quite, quite. It is as well to give all this very careful consideration. No, it's all right, don't worry. We'll manage. Oh, good. Well, then, let me see if I can make an appointment. <clears throat> no, no. No, Mr. Myers, I think if possible, we should try and arrange something. I can't let you pay for this. I'm not going to. I'm just going to help you out. I don't know. How, how much can you get hold of? 800. 1,000, perhaps. Right, I'll pay anything over 1,000. Perhaps I should sell the house. Oh, look. Take the money. I'm not doing anything else with it.
I'll pay you back. Fine, don't worry about it. With interest. Great. We were lucky to get Mr. Varda. He really is very able. One of the best of the younger men. Oh, good. Quick smash and grab in the county court. Get away with it, did you think, Leonard? A bit of a long shot, isn't it? I would have thought we'd stand a better chance with the magistrates. Not much fun, though, is it? Also, a bit hit and miss. What we need is the right judge. Hello, Harry. Yes, Mr. Varner. Find out who's on at Battersea, will you, this afternoon? You're looking well. Bought a yacht! Sixty foot! <laughs> Picked it up cheap. Yard was going bust. Really? I want to take it to Barbados this summer. Yes, Harry? Judge Kirby Smith, sir. Terrific. See if you can book us in, will you? Well, that is convenient, isn't it, Leonard? Catholic, isn't it? No. But very high. Sensorious old bugger, anyway. I say old, he's probably not much more than 50. Which means we can rely on him for the next 20 years, with any luck. What Mr. Varda has in mind, and I couldn't agree more, is an ex parte application before a county court judge. Which means we'll be applying for an order which will direct your wife to surrender care and control of your child. We do have reason to believe that this particular judge sitting this afternoon is liable to take a very serious view of your wife's lifestyle. On account of her being a naughty girl. If so, we should be able to obtain custody of your son. When? This afternoon. What? That's right. Doesn't Cheryl have to be there? No, no, no. Hence the phrase ex parte. <laughs> Are you allowed to do that? Sorry. It'll only be a temporary order. We'll have to go back before the judge very probably within seven days, at which time your wife will be at liberty to contest your claims and we should be obliged to substantiate them. Yes, Harry? 3.15, do you, sir? Well done, Harry. You should do it if the traffic's kind. <laughs> Now, this is your affidavit, Mr. Miles. It sets out your reasons for applying for care and control. Should be all right, bound to be, really. Nevada. Always rely on Kirby Smith for a genuinely we'll reactionary decision. Orally, of course, but the judge generally does that. Some of the big city judges starting to give custody to lesbians. Kirby Smith would rather have the child taken out and shot. You have to run your eyes over it. We met like someone. A uh, party at uh, Sally and Sam's. Oh, yes. That was it. How are you feeling? Well, rather excited. Bit of a prick, isn't he, Varda? Prick is just what we need. Thank you. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks. Straight in. in chambers, I'm afraid. Huh? No spectators. Good luck. My God, you've only been five minutes. Nine, actually. So it all went very smoothly. I must dash. When shall we three meet again? Four. I'll phone you tomorrow. How did it go? Very smoothly. We probably have very little time to waste. Come on. It's very depressing around here. You know it at all? Yes, I've lived here for years. Oh. I live near Ascot myself. Excuse me. <laughs> Do 
You have any children, Mr. Hooper? Yeah, little boy. Six. Ah. Nice age. Here she is. Street, all right for you. <laughs> oh, yes, perfect. Good afternoon. You all right? Yes, why do you ask? Well, you spoke to me. Yes, I'm fine. Well, would you like a cup of tea? Is he in? No, no one's in. Did you expect him back? Oh, Bill. What? He moved out last month. Well, why didn't you tell me? He never gave me a chance. Don't you see him anymore? Sometimes. But it's over. Are you angry with me? I didn't much like your carving that word on my front door. <laughs> I'm sorry. I had to pay the porter to take it off. How much? Ten quid. Oh. Take it. I've decided to get a flat. Oh, that's good. Where, whereabouts? Hmm? Just around here. I'm, uh, well, you know, I'm keeping my eye on the papers. Yes, I thought I could have Chris for the odd night, you know, if you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. I'd be delighted. It's what I want, some rational arrangement. Oh, good. Good. What are you doing down there? Just listening. The Bannister's Dynamite. Awful bugger called Mark Varder. Really? I think I was at school with him. Oh, yeah. What's he like? Posh, dark, rich. What about yours? 
short, fat, and miserable. I used to get bullied all the time. Mostly by me, if the truth be told. He was also conspicuously smelly. He used to pong the place out. Well, he owns a yacht now. Ah. We used to call him Shit Bum. It's one of those very expensive schools, is it? Mm hmm. I'm glad you've cheered up. Yeah, I have been a bit of a pain, haven't I? You've been terrible. Never knew what you were going to come out with next. Well, it wasn't that bad. You called me a hopeless alcoholic. Well, you are. Hopeless alcoholic. She's all right, isn't it? You mean to say you hadn't noticed? Oh, not really. Any hall. This is uh, really good. It's just what we wanted. Thank you. It's terrific. such a long time. <laughs> but it was like riding a bicycle. <laughs> also, it's, uh... What? Well, I'm not used to being so easy. See, when I was your age, I... It was the middle of the sexual revolution, and I can't tell you the rigmarole we all had to go through. I really like these. Aren't they terrific? Do you sell many of them? Hardly ever. Don't you mind? No. I would. I, well, I did. I used to write novels and, uh, <laughs> they kept getting rejected. So anyway, I, <laughs> I burned the bloody lot. And gave up? Yes. I only do it because I enjoy it. Tell me, don't you hate doing illustrations for, you know, rubbishy part works? And... No. It means I can afford to go on doing these. You sell it to me. I'll give it to you. Hello. It's a friend that's been half a half today. Can't just for fresh air. South London. It's a flavour all of its own, doesn't it? Wading through the muck and ma. Hello, muck. I am They're still out then, the dustmen. The awkward squad, eh? So exhilarating, living in a period of radical change. 
I suppose you think they're overpaid. Contrary, I think it should be paid twice as much. They should employ half as many people. What to do with the surplus people? That seems to be the problem. It's not about pay, actually. It's about the council wanting to employ private contractors. I suppose change which is the last thing you'd want, isn't it? What are you talking about? Aren't you a member of the forever young generation? Still hanging on to your illusions? Certainly not, I have no illusions whatsoever. I don't see what's so wrong with illusions. Word in your ear. Oh, my God. What's the problem? I thought solicitors went loud in court. County court, they can. Don't worry, we got over a bank. Well, come in this time. I didn't think... I'm I'd... sure we could swing it. You've done so much, seems unfair to make you miss all the fun. Leonard, go straight up. You use an unpaid clerk. What? I suppose so. Sit next to me. Don't say a word. Bow to the judge when we arrive. Word with my learned friend. Very well, Miss Powell. Thank you. What the hell do you think you're doing? If I were to report you, your feet wouldn't touch the ground. Not going to be boring about this, are you, Jenny? When you're ready, Miss Powell? Uh, yes, Your Honor. So, Your Honour, on the one hand, we have the father, a man with a record of 15 years' service to his profession. On the other hand, the mother, who also possesses a record of sorts. Sent down from university for a prank involving narcotics, suspended sentence for disorderly conduct at an anti-government demonstration, March 1971, fined for shoplifting, July 1973, passport withdrawn for one year following an assault on a customs officer in Italy, June 1974. I should also like to draw to your honour's attention a series of articles and pamphlets, notably this publication of the Crouch End Women's Collective, which I believe has an especially relevant bearing on Mrs. Miles's suitability as the sole guardian of a young son. Your relationship with Miss Bryant? Yes. How long has it been going on? About 18 months. <clears throat> so this was before your separation from Mr. Miles, in other words? Yes. And this was, from the outset, a sexual relationship? Yes, it was. And did you conceal this from your husband? No. And what was your husband's attitude to the relationship? He didn't mind. He didn't mind? No. I think he rather liked it. So you had absolutely no idea that your wife was indulging in these practices while you were living with her? None whatsoever. And had you discovered that she was indulging in these practices, can you tell us what your reaction would have been? I'd have been very shocked. He's lying. You know you're lying. Will you please be quiet? Sorry. I submit we may safely disregard 
my client's high-spirited iconoclasm of more than 10 years ago, and the minor scrapes into which she has, like many another of her generation, been led. Uh, as we've heard today, she's put all this far behind her, and she now takes not the slightest interest in any of the modern, current, radical feminist movements. As to her relationship with Miss Bryant, which my client strongly maintains her husband was not only aware of, but actually encouraged. Uh, Your Honour is certainly aware of many recent cases in which the principle that a lesbian preference in no way diminishes a woman's ability to be a good mother has been upheld. I am prepared to accept Ms. Powell's contention that her client's writings and formal opinions, however forcibly expressed, have no bearing on the present situation. However, I cannot pretend to have gained a very reassuring impression of Mrs. Miles's character and stability, and I continue to regard the matter of her open lesbianism with considerable seriousness. I fully appreciate that another court might take a more lenient view, but this is not another court. Mr. Miles's failure to be aware of what was going on under his nose may lay him open to accusations of naivety, but it is not a crime to be unobservant, and I see no reason to doubt his word in this. The fact remains that a lesbian relationship is not a proper setting for the rearing of a child, particularly when that child is a boy. I therefore see no reason to vary my earlier order giving interim custody, care and control of the child to Mr. Miles. I now order a welfare report in this matter. I shall require an affidavit from the applicant within 28 days and a reply from the respondent in 28 days thereafter. <laughs> May I ask your honor to reserve this matter to yourself? Yes, I don't see why not. The hearing of the full application will be set down once both parties have filed certificates of readiness. Well, the next time should be a formality. The trick was to get the judge to agree to preside over the final hearing. Same judge, same verdict. That's the beauty of the system. I wish she hadn't cried. Cheryl never cries. Oh. Cooper! You really are a vile and desperate bastard! It's all very well her crying. I mean, you were crying when I first met you. But she didn't care, did she? I suppose not. She just tried to put one over on us, that's all. We put one over on her. Yeah. <laughs> I'd be able to cook for you when my flat is ready. Great. I don't know how many people your age. Those I do, you never seem to get very exercised. About anything, do you? Is that fair? I'm not sure you can generalize. Well, you know, I mean, we've known each other how long? About six weeks, isn't it? And, uh,. Well, we've never had a single argument, never had a breath of disagreement. Well, isn't that good? Well, yeah. When I was at university, say, um, you had to fight all the way. It was all a question of negotiated settlements. Sounds exhausting. Well, yes. Huh. It was. But you preferred it that way? No. No, I didn't say that. If there's anything we can do to make it better for you, you have to tell me. You misunderstand me. I'm just saying it. It's not what I'm used to, that's all.
That is. I don't suppose any of our friends will ever speak to me again. What, because of Cheryl? No. <laughs> Jenny Powell certainly well. I used to know Cheryl a bit. I always thought she was a really patronising bitch. Did you? And then I realised it was all front. She's actually yeah. very weak. Anyway, I don't see what you did wrong. She had no right to bunk off to Australia with the little boy. Anyway, the judge decided Roger would make a better parent. That's not your fault, is it? No, I suppose not. Here we are. This far, it doesn't look as though you're ever planning to come back to me. Uh, do you want me to come back? Supposing I said yes. Well then, I'd, I'd come back. <laughs> Got your fingers crossed. I haven't. You wouldn't do it? Well, try me then. <laughs> yes, we were pretty bad in the end, weren't we? Awful. I could always sell this place, you know, if we... We could have had this conversation months ago. Why didn't we? Because we felt things so strongly. The feelings always got in the way. You are the love of my life, though. Oh, yes. You just can't stand to live with me, that's all. You like it? Do you think Christopher will like it? So I'm going to show him on Saturday. Mm. You can't stand to live with me, either, can you? We shall just have to bring up Christopher as best we can. Yes. Yeah, as long as I can have a, a part of him. You do? Of course you will. You're his father. You're a good father. Huh. I've really enjoyed seeing you again. I must fetch Christopher.
What's the matter? I don't know. <laughs> Something I've been meaning to tell you for some time now. I think we should stop seeing each other. Why? It's nothing to do with you, it's just me. It's something I'm going through. I'm no good to you. But you are. You are. It's just my feelings all used up. I... I can't seem to care anymore. So... I've got nothing left to give. Of course you have. And even if it's true, I don't mind. I'm sorry. There isn't someone else. No, it's not like that. It's just me. Do you like being on your own? No, I don't like it, but it seems to be what's required. I suppose it's nobody's fault. What's that? <laughs> I wanted us to have a baby. Oh, God, no. That's not what I mean. So I want to explain to you. It doesn't it's... matter. It does. That's what I'm trying to talk to you about. <sighs> it's Christopher. Emmy and I were all right until he was born. That's when it started to go wrong. <laughs> all, all the love that's going, they take it all, they suck you dry. I couldn't stand living with him anymore. So when I left, it wasn't Emmy I was leaving. It was him.
there anything I can do? Mind your own fucking business. I see there's no provision in the agreed order to prevent the boy being taken to his mother's present home. Your Honour, arrangements for access have been made to the satisfaction of both parties. What the parties have agreed to and what the court feels to be the correct solution are not necessarily one and the same thing. Mr. Miles has no objection to the access arrangement. He may well not, Mr. Varda, but I do. In my judgment, as long as the mother continues to live in her present circumstances, there can be no question of the child being allowed access visits to her address. It's your job to know. It's not my job to know. It's my job to advise you. I don't know exactly what they're going to give you. You're supposed to fucking know. I don't know, know what people are going to say. Stop swearing. This is a court of law. Stop, Ross. I beg your pardon. If you're not careful, you'll be a fucking awesome. Oh, yes. And who's going to do that? Me, mate. Oh, okay. yes. Congratulations. There was something. Just as a matter of interest. Don't you Anything similar in your own life? What do you mean? Separation, divorce, afraid of losing a child. Yeah, I suppose so. Not as much. It's always the way. The crony in the background, vicariously working out his own anger, or her. Much more commonly, a woman, of course. Is it? Anyway, hope you're feeling better now. <coughs> Tell me something. Does the name shit bum mean anything to you? What an extraordinary thing to say. Be a horrible place. Yeah. I wish they'd build on it. All right. You make me sick. You wouldn't have done any of this if it hadn't been for me. I would. You bloody wanted! You only wanted to get a solicitor's letter. Bollocks! I played a part in this as well. You can't deny that. I don't. I didn't do it for you either. I was thinking of Emmy. I was thinking of Christopher. No, I wasn't. I was thinking of me. I didn't think of anyone else but me. I just wanted to hit out. I wanted to do some damage. I know that. I'm not a complete idiot. Come on. I want you to come home with me. No, I can't. I think you should. Now, 
How is he? Ah. Sound a bit of a cold. It's fine. <laughs> How did it go? Same as we thought. Except the judge added a provision that he's not supposed to visit you where you live. But we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. It's over. Right. I have to rush. What time shall I bring him over tomorrow? About six. Fine. Bye, Mummy. Cheryl! You're back. Thanks. <laughs> What's that called? Spanish Conquer the Universe. We've been talking it over. You just want to share him. But you can't. The judge bugger that. How are they going to find out? You're going to tell them? Understand. I asked Jane if we could just skip the whole thing today, so we'd come to an agreement. But she said the judge is so bloody minded he might have turned against us and have Richard taken into care. I see. What about Australia? She decided against it. Jeannie's going on her own now. Oh. When you get the bills, the fence groove is all ready. How was it? Colossal. Ah. Well, uh, look, you know, just... It's all right. No, we agreed. It's all right. Cheryl's going to help me out. Cheryl? She's got a job. I don't expect we'll be seeing so much of each other. No. But, you know. Huh. Well, I'm glad it worked out. It did work out, didn't it? I think we did the right thing. Oh, he certainly jerked her lead. Why did you have to say that? I wouldn't have. But it's true. 